This is the Pokemon trading card game for Game Boy. I only found out about this game, this game a few uh, a few years ago, a couple years ago. Um, <laughs> I bought. I love Pokemon Gen One. You know, Pokemon Red, Pokemon Blue. They're my favorite games in the series, and I played those many many times. But <laughs> I knew Pokemon the trading card game, the game for Game Boy existed, but I never really understood what it was. Uh, I finally, uh, whatever, I bought it a, a couple years ago and, and tried it out. Uh, turns out, so Nintendo made this game. Nintendo made this game. They had this game made to teach kids how to actually play actually play the card game. I think it's cute. Uh, there's a little, you know, fakey Professor Oak in the game that almost literally says, this game is to teach kids... You know, kids love collecting Pokemon cards, but... This game is to teach you how to actually play the game, so you can have more even more fun with them. It's cute. Anyway, um, so this game is so imagine Pokemon, a Pokemon, a regular Pokemon game, but instead of battling with your Pokemon, you just have card battles. Also, there's no exploring and no walking around. You just kind of go to the next battle. There's still a map to explore. It's a little funny. Anyway, the point of the real point of this video. Oh, by the way, oh, as you can see, I'm playing in old timey. Uh, I'm playing in old timey Game Boy mode. I, I I did play through this game on the uh, original on my original DMG Game Boy uh, because that's what my favorite way to play Game Boy games. Just because I'm old. I don't know. And also, whatever. There's plenty of videos you can see online of people playing this in Game Boy in the color mode. So here it is in the original mode. Black and white, green. Grayscale, green mode, whatever. All right, so <laughs> I actually bought this game. I actually bought this game specifically to <laughs> to learn how to play the card game, so I could have battles with my kids. You know, with like physical cards. Um, and this game includes an incredible introductory, a full introduction. It was made to teach people how to play the game, and it does a great job. It's very impressive, especially for a little Game Boy game. Wow, they put a lot of work into teaching people how to play. And it worked. I learned how to play the game. What surprised me was I enjoyed it so much, I continued playing the game and accidentally beat it. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, I also enjoy it like even more than playing the games like with cards because uh, what's a, it helps because uh, so I don't have to carry around any pieces or cards. Uh, there's apparently there's lots of pieces that go with the card game, you know, like uh, oh I don't know dice and uh, little tokens that need to be set down. You know, you put your playing mat down, arrange all the cards. You don't have to do any of that with the Game Boy. Also, more importantly, <laughs> I like that I can uh, I can play against the computer and not feel bad like uh, about beating them. <laughs> so when I when I play against like an actual human, there's this, uh, I'm not a competitive person. And I really dislike that about uh, playing against someone in person. So it's nice being able to just play against computer opponents. Also it helps with the, the dialogue, they kind of make the opponents kind of jerk sometimes and like feel good about beating them. Um, I also like that all the decks are quite, um, how do I put this? This is, okay, so <laughs> if, it, if it isn't known already, uh, I want to further clarify, if you can't tell already, I know very little about Pokemon cards. And uh, but from what I understand, this game was made with the first generation, the first set of Pokemon cards. And there has been a ton since then, of course, that have come out. And there's more and more effects, more moves, more powerful Pokemon. And I like that the way that this game has apparently 226 from... Oop, from what I can read on the screen right here and uh, you know a, a nice base amount uh, you're not gonna battle against someone like I might in real life who we have a similar deck and then he has one card that just r destroys everything like why do we even have that card it just ruins the game okay anyway so kind of has nice standardized decks cards that you can choose from uh, let's see here I'm gonna continue my game so I loaded this game I do have the cartridge. I copied my save file from my cartridge here. And, all right. 
<laughs> Thank you for listening to me ramble. The actual point of this video is uh, when I started playing this, I got really frustrated because you know I was a new player. The game does a great... I didn't know how to build a deck. I didn't know what cards to choose. So the game does a great job of explaining how to play the game. Uh, what's involved in your turn, what cards to put out, whatever. How to do attacks and stuff. Uh, it gives me a deck and says, when you start the game, it says like, okay, do you want to build your own deck of 60? You need 60 cards. 60 cards to play a game of Pokemon cards. Do you want to do you want to build your own deck or do you want us to randomly pick one for you? Or we got some presets or whatever. And I said, I have no idea what I'm doing. Just give me a preset. Uh, Bulbasaur. Give me the Bulbasaur deck. And so I started with the Bulbasaur deck. And uh, I don't know. Like, okay, so one thing that really surprised me about this game compared to the, the mainline Pokemon games <laughs> is that... Uh, you know, in regular Pokemon games, you battle Pokemon, you catch Pokemon, you fight Pokemon, whatever. And when you're done, you get experience points. And every time you battle, the Pokemon gets stronger. That doesn't happen in this game. Now, I know this is going to seem obvious, but it took a while for it to like, really click in my brain. I have a pack of cards in the game. I battle with those cards. I finish the battle. And that's it. I'm still holding the same deck of 60 cards <laughs> my cards didn't get stronger it's just the same cards uh you do get every time you battle someone you do get a new pack of pokemon cards to you know open up in the game and you could potentially get some more powerful stuff you can use those cards to rearrange your deck but it's still the same basic deck if you don't do anything and what frustrated me was uh i, I don't know like i was enjoying playing but i was not enjoying picking a deck and so I just wanted something on the internet to say, what's the best deck? Just tell me what cards to put in my deck. I don't care. I don't understand it. I don't know what to do. Nobody's teaching me how to pick good cards to put in my deck. Just give me something. And, uh... <laughs> Ooh, more instructions. Holy moly. All right, skip this. Um, eventually, uh, you know, as I played more and more, I start to get a... I don't know, maybe about halfway through the game, I started to get a feel of what I did and didn't want in my decks. I did try some changes. And so the point of this is just to look through my deck and try to explain what I picked. So as I mentioned, I did do the, what is it? The, uh, the Bulbasaur deck. Now somewhere around here, is it this room? It's been a little while since I played. You can uh, have it pick a deck. Oh, ho! Oh! Won't you duel me to test your deck? If you win, I'll give you a booster pack that only contains energy cards. That's so cool. Oh, man. If you need more energy cards, you can just fight this guy. No. It's important to know your deck perform how your deck performs. Thanks. Okay. Okay. Oh, I beat the game, so I guess I got... Uh... Were you able to build all the decks here in this auto deck machine? There are as many duels as there are decks to duel with. Keep dueling with Pokemon trading cards. So I think if I go like here, auto deck machine. Would you like to build a deck? <sighs> Let's say yes. I don't think it's going to overwrite my deck. All right. So here's what I did. Bulbasaur and friends. Please select a deck. So this is what I picked uh, the first time I played the game. You know, you kind of got your, your... It's kind of like picking a starter. Charmander, Squirtle, Bulbasaur. So I went with Bulbasaur deck. So I'm going to cancel this. And I just want to look through my deck to see what I eventually went with. Deck. Bulbasaur and friends. And you can hold. It's so clever. You can hold uh, up to four different decks. And you can choose which ones to take out for a different battle. So cool. All right. So I only did one deck. This is the deck I beat the game with. So I want to... Oh, you can change the name. There's so many options. Modify the deck. All right, so I can scroll through the different, oops, what did I screw up? Ah. Cancel, yes, okay, I screwed up. Okay, modify the deck. All right, I just want to look. So I have, 
as you can see in the top right corner, I have picked 60 out of a total of 60 cards. Every deck has to have a maximum of 60 cards. You can have fewer, but it seems odd. Uh, I guess I can picture reasons why you'd have fewer. But anyway, I have 60 cards. So I have, as you can see, oh, these are the different types of Pokemon. So electric type, Pikachu, yep, fighting types, Sandshrew, whatever. Uh, psychic types, normal types. All right, so as you can see, I have nothing but grass types. And I did that because the only energy cards, the E, I have in here is grass energy. Okay, I've got 21 energy cards. It looks like, like in storage, I have a total of 25. I picked, uh, I have 21 of them in my deck. No fire, no water, no nothing. And the other thing I have is the double colorless energy. And I have these because I do have some Pokemon that take colorless, you know, asterisk star energy. And having the double colorless energy it allows me to quickly build up, uh, put some, put a lot of energy on it one card real quickly. Yeah, you know, double. I can add two energy cards for one turn. Whatever. Hopefully that makes sense. All right, I'm gonna press B to cancel. I'll go back up to the top. Uh, I have a bunch of trainer cards. I might talk about them later. I'll definitely talk about them later. So I have 24 energy cards, 21 grass, three normal double energy. All right, and here are my grass. These are my only Pokemon. So I've got three Bulbasaurs, three Ivysaurs, and two Venusaurs. So, and these are all evolutions of each, of each other. So my idea is that when I'm playing through the game, I get my, my cards out. I, you know, I, I shuffle my deck, I set it down, I pick up my first set of cards, and I start with, hopefully I'll get a Bulbasaur. And as I'm playing with a Bulbasaur, uh, hopefully I'll next get an Ivysaur. And if I'm super lucky, I'll pull one of these Venusaurs, and you know, I'll keep leveling them up and uh, evolving them and just use them to wreck the other player. And it's worked out quite well. Um, sometimes I'll end up with, whatever, two Ivysaurs and no Bulbasaurs, and I'll just end up like throwing them away, whatever. But many times it works out well. If I scroll down here, what else did I put in my deck? Oh, so similarly, Nidoran... Uh, I always <laughs> so embarrassed. I always forget which symbol is which. This is male? Yeah, Nidorino. Okay. Nidoran, Nidorino, and Nido King. Oh, right, male. Okay. And I have three of each. So these are normal grass types. So these are these are the real reasons I have those double colorless energy. I think this is the reason. And I think I can just view these, yeah. And so let me go back. I'm going to press A to look at this guy. So as you can see here, if I get this guy out, so when playing, I would, I would uh, hopefully get a Nidoran. Uh, one of those three. Okay, and then uh, hopefully I'll pull one of these and I'll put that on top. And when I do that, uh, if I can put a double colorless energy on this card, you know, I'll immediately have both of those two asterisks, those two star colorless energies all ready to go. And uh, yeah, I'd be able to do a lot of damage. And likewise with Nido King. Oh my gosh, yeah. He can be this much... HP was at 90 HP. This good of uh, these good attacks with this little amount of energy needed. Nice. All right, what else did I do? Is that it? No, it's got to be someone else. Oh my gosh, that's literally all I have. <laughs> wow. So I guess I'll go back up to the top. So I had. Bulbasaur, three Bulbasaurs, three Ivasaurs, and two Venusaurs. Okay. And then three Nidoran, three Nidorino, and three Nidokings. So this is my grass deck. Um, lots of grass energy, some regular energy, so I can get those Pokemon out and level them, or uh, yeah, get them some energy real quick. Uh, hopefully, level, uh, hopefully evolve them real quick and uh, get to fighting. All right, so I'm going to press B to go back up to the top. And we already looked at energy. We already looked at grass and my trainer cards. So I have Professor Oak, three Professor Oaks. So he allows me to... So 
I use it, so this lets me reset my hand, my seven cards that I drew. So if I'm in the situation where I end up with a bunch of evolutions and uh, no like starter Pokemon, I'll use Professor Oak to uh, try try my luck and get a new a new set. We've got Bill. I just get the draw two more cards. That's nice. Get some more energy. Try to get some more starter Pokemon. Uh, who else do I have? I have an energy search. So that's mm, basic energy. So there are times when I just have no energy cards. So I use this to get some grass. And this does... Mm, I want to say this does not allow me to take out the double colorless energy. I would love for it to allow for that. But I seem to remember it not... not doesn't allow that. Only grass energy. All right. Energy removal. Oh, I love these. So I see my... Uh, I'll see my opponent is attaching a bunch of energy to a card ready to kick my butt. And I'll just yoink that out of uh, off of his Pokemon, so he he'll be uh, less ready to do an attack to kill me. Whatever. <laughs> Is that all I have? This is so simple. Potion. Oh yeah, heal. Uh, full heal. So this gets how many do I have? Two. Your active Pokemon is no longer asleep. Can you, all right. So some. I don't know. Uh, I probably don't need this. As I've I've definitely used this. But it hasn't been that, uh... Well, it's been useful. Well, yeah. I guess it's been useful enough for me to have two of them. And one revive. On a rare occasion... Wow, oh, I have five of them in my in my storage. Well, I only put one of them in here. Whatever, it's just like a little, uh... I don't know. It's helped sometimes. My, I got like a strong Pokemon that gets knocked out. I get unlucky and he gets knocked out. I might revive him to, uh... Get it back. And that's all I have. That's 24 cards. Oh no, it's 15. 15 trainer cards. So I had three Professor Oaks, three Bills. <laughs> Sounds funny. One energy search, three energy removals, two potions, and two full heals. Oh, and one revive. All right, and that's my whole deck. That's 60 cards. And yep, this is the deck I use to beat the game. Um. I only made minor changes throughout. I think I used to have some water type Pokemon, or maybe some. I, I think that's. It. I think I might. I used to have some more grass. I'm sorry, some more normal type Pokemon. Some of. I used to have more of uh, these guys in my deck. What did I used to have? I just want to peek through here. Good memories. I used to have. Oh, Snorlax. Who's the... Is Snorlax go? Yeah, I used to have a Snorlax in my deck. So he has tons of HP. He's a starter. Starter Pokemon? Oh, I keep using the word starter. He's a basic Pokemon. I apologize. I'm not good at the terms. He's a basic Pokemon, so you can put him out when you start. You know, you can put him out. And uh, with two double colorless energies, he's all... Or any other energy, he's ready to do a body slam, which is... Pretty good attack. Not the best, definitely not the weakest. And he's got a good amount of HP, so I used to use him a lot. Where's, uh, I used to have like a Beedrill or something. Squirtle, Charmander. Oh, I used to have Sandshrew and Sandslash? That's a weird memory. I think, Psychic? It's so funny, so, when they did, uh, when they made the, oh, who was it? Uh, the people who made the trading card game, the cards, was it Tops? Uh, I'm sorry, I can't remember who it was. Uh, they condensed all the Pokemon from all their types into seven types. And uh, yeah, so some of them are a little different from what I'm used to in the, uh, in the games. Oh, Kangaskhan. I used to have a Kangaskhan. Right, I like this one. I used to use him quite a bit. I, I, I think I got rid of him to simple, further simplify my deck. My deck, so check it out. So he, uh, he has, right, with four, with just four 
an energy with just four energy cards he can do a comet punch which is it was useful so let's scroll i'm gonna press right i'm gonna press uh, i can use left and right to scroll through look at the rest of this card so fetch uh allows you to draw a card so this is kind of cool so i put out kangaskhan i put one energy card on it and i can now use fetch which allows me to draw a card an extra card every turn which is nice to build up my deck real quick uh, if I quickly get, uh, if I get, uh, four energy cards on it, you know, either grass energy or those double colorless energy, you know, it only takes two. I now have Comet Punch, which <laughs> I think I'm remembering why I got rid of Kangaskhan. I both love and hate this attack. Flip four coins. This attack does 20 damage times the number of heads. So <laughs> there were times when I'd get... 20, 40, or even 80 hits against my enemy and just knock him out in one hit. But there were too many times when I would get zero. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so frustrating. Ugh. All right. And then back to the beginning. I think that's why I got rid of him. I, I'm, I'm not really a fan of uh, chance, chance-based uh, attacks. I want to do what I can do. And there's Snorla. Oh, oh, hello. Oh, I apologize. Oh, look at that. I thought I was missing something. Oh, I was wrong. Okay. King is gone level 40. Oh, I'm an idiot. I just realized I do have two in my deck. I did keep them. Well, I went on and on about how much I use them. <laughs> well, that's because they're in my deck. Okay, great. Okay, so I had two King is gone. Okay, let's keep scrolling. Snorlax, too. And uh, yeah, so let's scroll here. Snorlax. Oh, thick skin. Okay. So flip a coin if heads. Okay. So this, I like this attack. So once again, with just four energy cards, uh, which could be two double colorless energy cards, just two turns, uh, I can hit the my opponent for 30 hit points. And I have a 50-50 chance that my opponent is now paralyzed. I love this attack. Oh, that's great. And you've got lots of, uh, where's this hit points? 90 hit points. Oh, this is a great Pokemon. Yeah, I like this card. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, so I actually scrolled through everything now. <laughs> Embarrassing. Sorry about that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'll include my deck in the description uh, so it's easier to look at. But yeah, that's what I use to beat the game. So mostly grass, a small handful of normal types, uh my favorite trainer cards and a good chunk of uh, energy cards. So 24, that's over a third of my cards are energy, 24. Um, I think I've toyed, I think I did toy, I love energy cards, I want so much energy. Yeah, just give me more energy. I did toy with getting, putting more energy cards in my deck, I seem to remember. And it was just, it was just too much. I was just drawing energy after energy. You know, it's all random, so it still might happen, but yeah, I went a little overboard at one point. <laughs> but yeah. So, as a relatively noob, really, really relatively new Pokemon card uh, uh, game player, uh, I tended to, I leaned towards having a pretty sizable amount of energy uh, and basically one type of card. All grass. Uh, and, you know, uh, evolution, evolution series, Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, Venusaur that I could level up. And even if, uh, so I would use, uh, if I could, if I could get a Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, Venusaur, if I could get a set of three that I could, um, evolve, I mean, that was it. I got super lucky. I would, it would pretty much guarantee I, I beat, I won the match. Uh, if I didn't get that lucky, I'd still have, you know, Bulbasaur, whatever, basic Pokemon I could put out and play with, while also, I would almost always get a basic type from normal, you know, the Kangaskhan, the Snorlax, that I could just use right away, I wouldn't have to worry about evolving them, uh, and still have a good chance of, of beating, beating my opponent. Alright, that's it. Yeah, I was surprised how much I love this game. Let me cancel. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, I've been meaning to talk about this game for a while. I love, uh, oh my gosh, they pack so much, uh, in the, uh, graphics in this game. So many visuals. Look at this table, full of Pokemon cards. I can, like, I can see everything that's going on in this, in this match. <laughs> it's cute. Um, but no, the way, uh, I won't go back into it, but the way they, they pack so much information. Pokemon cards themselves, the physical cards, have so much information on it. And all of it is needed in order to uh, fully understand what's going on in the game and to be able to play those cards. And it's just a lot of information to pack into a, onto a small Game Boy screen. And not just the cards, but the whole play area. And they do it. The developers did a great job of keeping the play area organized, uh, easy to get all the information the player needs to the player, uh, quick button shortcuts to to uh, allow the players to like zoom in. It's not really zooming in, but uh, to, to get more information as they need it, when they need it. And it's all quite intuitive. I was so impressed with this game. Oh, I guess I mentioned, I just want to talk more about this game. I guess I mentioned the map. So this is the starting area, Dr. Mason's laboratory. And you just kind of pick where you want to go next. Water club. Doop -a -doop -a -doop. And that's it. They just kind of explore a little club. There's only two or three rooms in each club. I think they're all pretty samey. Does the music change? Yes, I love the music in this game. Oh, I might as well mention it. So, <laughs> the music in this game is, uh, you know, Pokemon matches can go on for 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, and the player is listening to the same song the entire match. Uh, you know, j just from a high level, like they knew when they made this game, okay, the player is going to be listening to this one song the entire match, and it could go on for a long time. Holy cow, it's got to be a good song. And man, did they make a good song. I haven't, I don't remember timing it, but I think the song, the, the main song, when you when you do a Pokemon match, I think it goes on, I think it might be over two minutes before it loops, and it is so good. I played this game, what did it say on the title screen? It said my save game is 18 hours. Most of that is spent inside inside card battles, and I never once got tired of the, the battle music. It is so good. <sighs> Especially on the original Game Boy speakers. As opposed to like an emulator or whatever. Good stuff. All right. I think that's about, oh, can I look at this picture? No, okay. I think that's about all I have to say in this video. So yeah, if, you've, uh, if you're have if you a fan of the original Gen 1 games, I don't know. If, if you've never touched the, the trading card game and you like Pokemon games, I don't know. Like, I was really surprised just how much I got into this game and how much I loved it. <sighs> well, I guess that's it. I would recommend it. it it's definitely hard to get into because if you haven't played the game before... I'm sorry. If you haven't played the trading card game before, it involves learning the whole... Uh, the whole... like, how to play, which can be frustrating. Once I, I mentioned earlier, this, you know, this is a great tutorial great tutorial at the, at the beginning of the game it's kind of a uh, it's a forced tutorial you can't skip it but there's lots of sections inside it that you can skip it was is very well done uh, lots of opportunity to ask more details more questions and there's so much taken it's like drinking from a fire hose so much information to take in, in the beginning but once you uh, once you start to pick up on the gameplay um, it has a good it has a good sense of uh, the game, uh, the actual card game itself, as implemented in this Game Boy game, gives a great feeling of just one more try. Because when I am defeated, when I am beaten in a match, like I know it was luck involved, I could, you know, swap my cards around a little bit and try to uh, try something else. But a lot of it is luck, and and absolutely. Oh, and I did eventually learn. <laughs> I'm so bad at strategy games, but I did learn 
that they're absolutely the strategy. I'm, I'm sure that'll sound stupid. <laughs> that sounds stupid, but uh, it's not just random luck. There's absolute strategy to picking the cards and how you play the cards. And there are lots of times the game, it doesn't make it too hard to accidentally play the wrong card. But there were times I accidentally played the wrong card. And I, it was, uh, it's, it's those kind of things like, ah, why did I do that? I wish I did a different card. I don't know. Oh, man. Well, now I just want to play it. Maybe I'll just try a quick match. Doesn't it feel good to relax by the pool? Isn't it wonderful to duel in a place like this? You know, let's do it. Three prizes. Oh, that's right. You're playing for prizes. It can be anywhere between up to six prizes. And by prizes, they mean coins. All right, Amanda. All right. Oh, I haven't played this in a while. I beat this last year. Choose a basic Pokemon to place in the arena. All right. So I'm going to press select to automatically or organize my cards. So I got some energy at the top. Venusaur, Kangaskhan, Potion Bill. All right. So I'm going to put out a Kangaskhan. I can check the card. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cool. Like I just press select. No, I did it select. All right. Hey, play. Yeah, that's not happening. I got no one else. All right. Place the prizes. Okay. The coin will be tossed. Come on, Pikachu! Yes! I get to go first. You drew Bulbasaur. Perfect! So I got a Bulbasaur. So let's see here. I got Kangaskhan. So now it's my turn. I see. They've got a Jigglypuff out. All right. So I can review this hand here. So I'm going to press Select. Select at almost any time will get will allow me to like start reviewing stuff. So I'm gonna press B to go back. This is the main screen. I can press select to get uh, sort of a better view of the table. And I can scroll around and look at all the different things. Okay, Amanda's discard pile. Okay. My discard pile. Discard pile has no cards. Okay. So I can review their card. Uh-huh. A lullaby. Oh, crap. So Amanda has no energy cards on uh, Jigglypuff at this point. And as soon as she does, uh, Jigglypuff will have the opportunity to use lullaby. And if I scroll to the right, it will put me to sleep. Crap. Okay, I gotta get rid of Jigglypuff. Or stop Amanda from using a uh, energy card. All right. So I'm gonna go press B to go back. And let's see here. If I press check, does that just do the same thing? in play area so that gets to the same place so pressing select is just a shortcut to go to uh the play area what happens if i press in your play area wow it zooms in here that's cool wow oh, there's so many ways to view as i mentioned they did a really good job at uh giving the player the ability to look around real quick all right so i'm gonna look at my hands it's my turn i get to play a energy card yes please I get to put out any Pokemon that I want. I'm going to press select to organize everything. I do that all the time. Bulbasaur can go out. All right. Bulbasaur is on the bench. All right. I think that's all I can do. Let me just review my... Oh, here we go. I could use B Bill. No reason not to. Boop, boop. I got energy, uh, energy and Nidoran. Cool. I'm going to press select to organize everything. I think I'll put out an Indoran. Cool. So I've got, I can uh, press select to review the play area. I got a Bulbasaur, a Nidoran, and I'm currently using Kangaskhan. All right, I think that's good for my turn. Done. Jigglypuff has went out. So she got two Jigglypuffs. Uh oh, attach energy. Oh crap. Oh. Oh. Amanda is wiping her hand of cards. Okay. Professor Oak, discard your hand, then draw seven cards. All right, so she's getting seven new cards. So she didn't like her hand. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go to sleep. Crap. 
<laughs> Cute. Between turns. Kangaskhan sleep check. Come on, Pikachu. Crap. Oh, this is neat. So check it out. This coin. <laughs> it took me a while to realize what was going on. Um, the coin has two sounds. It has a happy sound, like ba-ding, and then a sad sound, bloop, something like that. And it took me a while to realize the sound, the good and bad sound effects will play dependent on who is affected by the coin flip. For example, if my opponent does a coin flip to, you know, heads, you know, Pikachu head, uh, heads to attack me, and it lands on not has it lands on this side the blank side it'll play the good sound effect ba -ding! like yes i wasn't affected that's kind of clever all right i'm still asleep lame no big deal who have i got more energy so i'm gonna put some energy out before i put energy out, i'm gonna press select to review my hand to read my cards bulbasaur has leech seed and i else oops and who is this nidoran horn hazard okay I think I'm going to put. I could also beef up, beef up Kangaskhan. Hmm. I think I'll continue building up Kangaskhan for now. Okay. Uh, anything else? Potion? Nah. All right, looks good. Because Jigglypuff can't actually attack me right now, so it's not really a uh, not really danger. Hey, I'm awake. Let me guess, Jigglypuff. Let me guess. You gonna put me to sleep again? Uh-oh. Oh, crap. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Pound. Oh, crap. Whoopsie. Okay, well, that was quick. That's, what, that's the benefit of double colorless energy. Alright, more grass energy. I'm going to play this on Kangaskhan. Okay. Do I have an attack? Oh my gosh, I was supposed to be using fetch. I'm such a ding dong. See, that's what I mean by like getting better. <laughs> uh, let me look at my hand a little more, just to make sure. I could use potion, but I'll skip it for now, no reason. All right, David, please use fetch. All right, there we go. I could have been drawing an extra card this whole time. Hey, full heal. Well, I could have healed myself from sleep <laughs> if I needed. Well, that's useful. Uh-oh. Oh, crap. Jigglypuff evolved. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, interesting. So what does this do? Play Clefairy Doll as if it were a basic Pokemon. While in play, Clefairy Doll counts as a Pokemon instead of a trainer card. Clefairy Doll has no attacks, can't retreat, and can't be asleep, confused, paralyzed, or poisoned. Okay. She used Clefairy Doll. Okay, I already read that. Scyther? You have a Scyther out? Oh, do the wave. 10 damage plus 10 more damage for each of your benched Pokemon. Wow. Oof. Okay. <sighs> I drew Snorlax. So at this point, I need to decide. I'm going to... I think I'm going to finish up with Kangaskhan. Okay. I'm going to... Oh, if I heal... One, two. Even if I heal Kangaskhan... Kangaskhan? Whatever. One more hit will still... Uh, will still wreck me. Ah, shoot. I shouldn't have done that. Eh, whatever. So I'm not going to heal because healing won't help me. But I can... Put Snorlax out, okay. And I can... Oh, I already did a cast energy. Sorry, that's right, I wanted to kink a scan. All right, so I can do an attack. So I'll just attack the best I can. Before I do that, I'm gonna press select to look at their table. No. Oh my gosh, six Pokemon out? Scyther. Poliwag, Jigglypuff, Clefairy Doll, Clefairy Doll, two Clefairy. Oh, that's why it popped up twice. I see. 
Oh. That's what caused the extra damage, didn't it? Okay, I thought it was saying... Okay, that was very clever. Put out a bunch of benched Pokemon and then use that attack. Was it this one? Do the wave. Do the wave is for each of your bench Pokemon. So that's 10 plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's a 60 attack. Oh my gosh. That's why I went 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's why I got wrecked so quickly. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, let's do what we can. Hey, oh, hey, let's check it out. I might get lucky. I mentioned, <laughs> I mentioned earlier. <laughs> I could get lucky and... Uh, and uh, I could kill, Wig I could knock out Wigglytuff in one hit. Here we go, Kangaskhan. Go for it. Failed. <laughs> hey! Yes? Yes? Yeah! Not too bad! Alright, I didn't, uh, I didn't survive. I'm not gonna survive this next round, but I did uh, do enough to keep myself safe. I love the AI in this game. They're I haven't seen any uh, dumb AI. They're really, really great. Do the wave. Okay, so goodbye, Kangaskhan. It's been nice. All right, so I lost. Uh, so I'm down by one. Let's see. Who am I going to put out? Uh, B? I press select to examine. Select bench. Po selecting bench Pokemon. I want to examine. So I got a Bulbasaur. See, he's going to be dead before I even get things on him. Oh, here we go, Horn Hazard. I'll use Nidoran. And this guy. All right, I'll use Nidoran. Perfect. So back, Nidoran. Bing, bing. I drew a full heal. So hand. Organize my cards by pressing select. Grass energy is going on Nidoran. Okay. And I'm going to attack. And this... What does it do? Let me review it. Horn hazard. Oh, I didn't realize... <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> Should have read the details. Well, it's all you, Nidoran. <laughs> Oops, attack. Good luck. Pikachu head. Aw, oh, crap. <laughs> Goodbye, Nidoran. <laughs> oh, man. This doesn't look good. Yep. Do the wave. <sighs> hmm. Like, oh, my gosh. I can't even survive Snorlax. Oh, I'm sorry, Snorlax won't even survive. I guess I could try. Oh no, one more Pokemon gets knocked out and I'm done for. Oh man. Hmm. Let me review. Bulbasaur is not gonna be able to attack. Resistance. Fire. Resistance to nothing. Okay. Alright. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. I pretty much already lost at this point. That's too bad. Back. We'll do Snorlax, whatever. Thanks. <sighs> Oops, <laughs> I'm done. Put me out of my misery, Amanda. So this has been a good example of, uh, this has been an example of a Pokemon card match. Oh, I didn't lose? Why? I don't know. Because I got knocked out? Ivysaur. Oh. How do I retreat? Oof, four. Wow, okay. I'm not retreating. Alright, so I could put... <laughs> a 
this isn't gonna work. <laughs> Alright, I'm just dorking around at this point. I could level up my Ivysaur. Yeah, sure. It doesn't matter. Oh, just for fun. Yeah, alright. <laughs> I can... Potion. Yeah, so. Heal Pokemon. Alright, that's all I can do. Time to watch my Pokemon die. You're ruthless, Amanda. You're a monster. Alright, and that's the final prize card. Boop. <laughs> Winning in such nice surroundings makes it all more pleasurable. Ah, <sighs> sad Pokemon noises. I kind of want to try again. Like that's what I'm saying. There's, it was fun to play. It was fun to do strategy, and since I lost, um, there were plenty of opportunities where I could have won by chance, and also made better, better better choices in my strategy makes me want to just try again right now i'm not gonna do that i'll be good i'll be okay i'll be okay i'm not bitter it's okay amanda uh but anyway yeah so uh, oh, what else did i want to say oh yeah super clever uh so check this out in regards to the save game feature um of course you can press start and write your save write your save game in your diary that's how you save your game and uh, what well, was super clever was, okay, so it was late one night, I was playing through a card match, and uh, as I mentioned, these card matches can go on for a long time, and I was, whatever, 20, maybe 30 minutes into it, and I was just tired, I had to go to sleep, and it didn't even matter if I was winning or losing, I had to stop, so I just turned off the game. The next day, when I, turn, when I picked it up and turned it back on again, this game has an auto-save feature. They knew... The developers knew that kids would be playing this and would have to just turn it off sometimes. There's no save if you're if you're in a match, there's no save button. You just turn it off and it saves you right in the middle of the card match. When you turn it on, it says, Hey, we see you were in the middle of a card match. Uh, do you want to continue that, that match? And you have a choice. You can say, Yep, put me right back in, and it's exactly where you left off. Or you can say no, it'll be the last place you saved. So clever. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I, I almost forgot i did have i did have one place where it bit me in the butt one time what happened i uh i battled through a really really challenging uh it's not a gym leader what are they called whatever the equivalent of gym leaders in this game i did awesome uh and as i was reading what is that i read the uh the ending text and I think I had just finished and I was about to walk out and save the game and my battery died, which means I was in the situation where my last save game, you know, manual save, was before the battle. And since I had just finished the battle, it didn't auto save. And so I had to do it over again. <laughs> it was a little frustrating, but it's a fun game. I mean, if you're not here to play Pokemon card battles, then what are, you even, what are we doing in this game? So no big deal. It was fun. So I had to replay that. Uh, but yeah, no, the autosave feature blew my mind. So good. So if you're in a if you're in a card battle, just turn off the game and you can pick right up where you left off when you turn it back on. Um Yeah. I mean <laughs> I recommend this game. I had a lot of fun with it. Even right now, I I just want to go back and try to get my revenge on Amanda. And, uh, yeah, I guess that's all I have to say. I want to talk about it more, but I can't really think of anything. All right. If you want, that's what I can say. If you want a, uh, if you want a way to learn to play the Pokemon trading card game, like I did, uh, this is a, uh, I think this is a great introduction because it's so old, uh, before all the more modern, more fancy cards came out, uh, it's relatively simple and basic which is nice because uh after you learn the basics you can then learn all the uh the extra stuff that's come out since then uh so yeah it's a nice introduction uh i'm sure there's lots of places online i think pokemon.com or something has uh online tutorials you could also do but whatever as someone who loves the game boy this is this is a great way to learn how to play the game 
Uh, I am now able to play the actual physical card game matches with people. And uh, more importantly, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, I recommend this game. If you haven't, if you've never tried out this game, uh, I recommend it. Oh, I also heard that there is a Japan-only sequel. Pokemon Trading Card Game 2 came out only in Japan. I heard it's better in ways than this game is, but it's also in Japanese. There is a fan translation uh, that you can download and apply to the game to get it into English. And so if you have the option to do that, some people recommend it. I haven't tried it. I love this original game. I played it all on the original black and white Game Boy. It looks gorgeous. Uh, it also looks great in color. It's fine. Yeah. And the music. Oh, I only touched on the music. Absolutely astounding soundtrack. This is the kind of soundtrack. So there's three types of soundtracks. There's, oh, is there an option to turn off the music? Uh, and then above that, of course, there's, yeah, it's pretty good music. Uh, it fits in the, in the game well. And the third option above that is, this music is so good, I want to listen to this even when I'm not playing the game. Like, just give me the music album to listen to in my car. This is that kind of music. Such good music. Oh, I highly recommend this soundtrack to anyone who likes chiptune music. Alright, now I'm for realsy done. Thank you for listening. Thank you for joining me in a Pokemon card battle. <laughs>